What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Well last time we worked on this power plant here by bringing in the bottled water, sending the can empty canisters back and so on and so forth. You're kind of used to that by now but today I want to work on this. The aluminium plant that's been the bane of my life for like the last few episodes of this series now. Because one I don't like how the building looks. It looks dull. We can, there's, there's, there's just so much going on with it I just don't like about it. Like we have a lot of things that's unoptimized. Producing a lot of heavy oil residue which we technically don't need and then we can't get rid of the waste because i don't have the space for example all this plastic here that's not even turned on because i'm not utilizing it for the uh, petroleum cork so i'm making the executive decision to remove it and just like that it's gone with of course the exception of this because when you're working on the calculator website i didn't want to get rid of the highway that we had above so i've now got to delete all of this manually but we have a more precedented bigger problem right now which is when you delete something on the calculator website you can get everything to go in kind of like a little lunchbox for you so when you go back into game you get to keep all the items that you kind of mass deleted well there's quite a few of them and all of these have got multiple multiple items in them so what i need to do is i need to put like a massive storage platform down here which will then help me build the new plant as well as remove all of that stuff to then supply here so we've got a little bit of a storage area but this is a little insane and i was a little overwhelmed when we did this on the live stream so make sure you come and check out me over there and if you enjoy these videos remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji so bada bing bada bosh we have a storage and that's gone down there as well but also i didn't just remove the aluminium plant i removed some other buildings because as you know we hit the object limit and even though i have increased that i thought why not get rid of the buildings we don't actually need anymore that were kind of small that was at the start of the series and yeah so i've got rid of quite a few which are the starter base that we did in the very first episode of this season, that has gone. Also, the coal plant we did in episode two or three. And yes, that also means the plastic, rubber and canister, well, the fuel canister factory that we have here. That was producing some extra fuel for us. And that has also gone. Yes, and the factory you've all been waiting for, the Christmas building, which you guys loved <laughs> as of last year's Christmas special video. And then this has also gone poof. And we also deleted a lot more other than that, like just stray cables that was going places, just some stray roads, some foundations. And just we just kind of cleaned it and just optimized our save a little bit as well. But today I want to work on this area right here. We want to start working on rebuilding the aluminium plant and making it a lot more efficient, a lot more cleaner and just goddamn good looking. Right, so what I'm thinking about doing is we need to start making some overpasses for the trains right here. Because one, I do kind of want to keep it the same how we had the trains going in. But I want to do overpasses to make sure the traffic is flowing a lot smoother. And one, we have some crooked bloody train lines right there. Um, and I want to make sure everything's a lot more optimized because we've learned a lot more about trains since last time. Especially when it comes to signals. And again, if you want to check that out, big signal guide on how to fix trains. So what I want to do is I want to look at extending this foundation out here. And I want to bring in the train station that's going to unload the water that we're going to need for the aluminium. Because if I can, wait a minute, uh, get a refinery. Can I play? I can. I'm going to squeeze you there. Hold. And we're going to here. And we're going to want to make um a sloppy alumina so we've got we need 200 bauxite and we need 200 water which will make the 200 uh, alumina solution but we need to bring the bauxite in which we kind of have which is this train right here and all we need to do is just upgrade the bauxite lines and make sure that they are now suitable for well mark five lines and then bring all them down here and bring in a little bit more than it was before bring that into here and then put some refineries down which will then make the sloppy alumina because obviously we're going to go from sloppy alumina well the aluminous you know, the, the sloppy alumina recipe to the electrode scrap which is what we did before but we need petroleum cork and obviously for that we need oil and oil is just down there so we just need to grab some of that and then also 
uh, we're going to have a byproduct of water being produced out of this. Um, so we're going to send that to a deck and a flight of copper, uh, which we already bring in before. So it's basically everything we did before, but we're just cleaning it up and making it a little extra spicy. The one thing I'm worried about now, though, is because all these trains are coming along here and we have removed the stations, all these trains are now going to have problems. So... I need to go down all of this line and start fixing all of these trains because all the routes have just been messed up. All the lines have been messed up. So I need to go now through all these trains and start looking at where we might have some problems because we might have a few issues. And literally, like I said, train collision with a heavy modular frame and water to God damn it. So I need to commandeer your vehicle and I need to put you down because I need a new main to... Oh, there's no power on this rail as well. Oh my God, I've truly screwed myself right now. Wait a minute. Can I open up? It's the FBI. Suck me in. I need an entrance. Give me power. <clears throat> Take me. Don't worry, dear. I am on the way. Maybe not. I got sucked into this little tiny little gap thing. Bloody hell. Hello. Hello, train. How do we train? So it seems there's a problem with the train over here. At least one thing, the priority any express route train is working like a charm. That's what it's for. And this kind of problem right here. How the bloody hell have you guys crashed? Like, the signals are fine here. So what's gone on here? And how has that over there affected you? Wait. Wait, how have you back-ended him? You've reared him. You two need to go into the naughty corner. You've been bad boys. Let me... Wait, you got no... Have you got no power? Why is there no power on this train line? Wait. What What have I done? Do I need to... Please hold. Please hold. i got no power on this train. I need to go down here and... Wait. Couldn't I just... I need to, I need to power a train station. I am coming to fix the power. I will fix this. I don't think I've, I think, like I said, I think the other thing I need to do is just... I'm, are these not powered? The, these must be powered. Hello? Oh, oh my God, my whole network and logistics is offline right now. This could be bad. But the power... Wait, the, see, that's why I put the train... The, ah, wait a minute. All I need to do is come down here into this train station because you're powered, right? Are you powered? You're powered, see? This is why I put the power grid on a different station. Oh my God, and this is all still color coded. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So all I should really need to do is just grab a cheeky little power line from you, go underground, grab you. I have no cables. I have no bloody cables. I have no, I need a cable. Oh my God, oh, oh my God, my whole water plant shut off. <gasps> oh, I need cables, I need cables. Any cables in here? Anybody got any cables? Nope. I need a cable. Cable, 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 cable. Can I take you? I think I might be able to take that. Please hold. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Have I got cables? I've got two. Two. You. Oh my God. Now I need copper wire. Uh... Wait. Actually, I need to hit your ride. Let me hit your ride. I need to grab what I need. Never mind. I'll get you. Come, 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 come. I feel like Tom Cruise just train surfing right now. Literally. I don't know where the closest place I've got cables is. I think it might be the quartz factory. Right, way over here. If not, I've got to go all the way back to the the uh, the starter base. Any cables? Any cables? Any cables? No cables whatsoever. Nope. Nope. I need to hitch a ride. <whistles> hey, honey. Honey. <laughs> Can I get a ride? <laughs> I need a ride. <laughs> I need a ride. And then, hopefully, I can make it as far as I can. Like, even this station doesn't have power. Everything is, like, powerless. I feel powerless. I'm just going to glide my way. And this is why liquid biofuel is the better fuel. Because look how long I can last in the air by surf, like, train surfing. Who needs hyper cannons? Well, I think I found the other train crash. Yep, this one's rolled back into this one. Everything's just kicking off just a free-for-all i run out of fuel and i said no i need to run why did i not reconnect them trains back up then why did i not line them back up again i should have why did i not i don't know i don't know i don't know 
Give me cable. 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 Where's my cable? Where's my... Well, I need some of you. Come, 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 come. And I need some cable. Where's my cable? Oh, here it is. Give me some of you. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Is that all I needed for that? I can't remember. Yeah, everything's... I need some, some bloody concrete as well. I'm running out of everything. Right. Time to get bloody back and fix that line. And whilst I'm going past, fix this bloody train. Right, now don't crash as soon as I power up, okay? You've got one job. Where am I? Where am I? What's going on? What the hell is going on? I'm floating in me, dude. I can't stop going. Ah! Let me down, 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 let me down. Let me down, let me down, let Oh my god. Oh my god. My jetpack just kept going and going, and it kind of launched me when I was this looks trippy as balls. I feel like I'm in a whale's asshole. Now I'm flying down here with a claw of a hand. <laughs> Use my strong hand. <laughs> Use my strong hand. Oh boy. That was weird. That was weird. Right. So let's grab this bloody power. Take it under here. Connect it to there and then take you along here and then take you up this side and then connect you to this grid and then we should be all fine and flipping dandy connect that to there we should have power and hopefully everything is now working and my trains are now functioning again fingers crossed i see train movement i'm seeing multiple train movements noise okay so finally after getting all that bloody hectic train situation done i've done this which means trains can now come along here up here and then reroute into this so yes i've kind of skipped the water unpackaging you've seen me do it multiple times and all this kind of stuff uh and i've also added the refineries in here as well so as you can see each refinery is set to 200 each which means 200 water 200 so that's going to be 600 in total in a single line and we are bringing 600 in from each of the uh bauxite stations and factory whatever we did in the forest over there in the bushes i've just made sure that all them lines are now 600 there was 480 before i've now upgraded them to 600 and that's what this train line is bringing it in over here so this is 600 600 600 and 600 obviously i've um made sure that the throughput is sending out 600 uh, as well that's all shifting around here nice and cleanly and heading towards these refineries where each line gets split up into three so that's why we've segregated them into three sections so one pipe of mark two uh, well that's mark one but mark two goes into three uh, same with all of these and then one line of bauxite goes into three as well so that's that kind of done which means we are now outputting 240 alumina solution on each of these refineries making a total of 240 times by 12 is 2880 uh, alumina solution but the easy solution for this that funny solution solution and more solution um is we're actually going to get this and put it into a one-to-one -one ratio with another refinery which is going to have its input literally backing it up to this one and we're going to make this into the electrode scrap which means this needs uh, 180 but if we go into here and we overclock this and make sure this is 400 per minute you can see that has now gone into 240 alumina solution per minute it needs 80 petroleum cork which will output 400 aluminum scrap and 140 water so we just need to get a pipe from well grab a pipe from here and then we're just going to transport you straight into there and we're just going to do this for all of these and then I need to look into bringing the petroleum cork, which means we need oil, heavy oil residue, which means a byproduct of resin, which means we need to make plastic and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to put all these down and then we are going to crack on and move with the next project. And more than likely, I will get these pipes and paint them white because obviously Illumina Solution is white. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Burpee. Yeah, it's called Garvance on the North Frontier. Right. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought this episode was going to be a lot more informative of what we were going to do today. But we had the shenanigans with the bloody trains. But do not worry. All of this is what I wanted to kind of show you in today's episode. But because of the problems, like I said, with the trains, 
we're going to have to do it in a separate episode. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we produce the electrode scrap, how we brought up the crude oil, which goes into heavy oil residue, which makes the plastic and the byproduct of resin and all that kind of stuff. And then how we make, and then how we make, and then how we make petroleum coke. And then by the time we get to that, I don't know if it's going to be the episode afterwards, but I'm going to show you how we do the copper aluminium train station here, which brings up all the copper, which then heads up onto this floor where it makes our copper bloody ingots and then our aluminium sheets, our casings and all that good stuff. So that might be two episodes from now. So there's a little bit of an insight for you. But hopefully you enjoyed this kind of fun, little chaotic episode. And thank you so much for watching. And remember to like, subscribe and check out my other content right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep smiling and I'll see you then.